Uh, it's amazing. We have been here for two days now. I think this is our second day, and we've just been wandering around. It's a beautiful city. Loads of things to do. We went to an awesome trampoline park as well, uh, and it's amazing. Nice. Okay. So, how's life on tour going so far, and how are you having fun? We have had an amazing time. It's great to see all the different places and visit places that we've been to before. And uh, we have been to Germany a couple of times, but we've actually never been to Berlin and Cologne, which was really fun for us to see. Uh, and we also got to go to Amsterdam a second time, which was really fun. Nice. So you've been in Cologne two days ago, right? Yes. yes. Okay. How was the German crowd like? They were so supportive, so lovely, and Very every polite. yeah, no, every single fan was so polite and loving, and we love coming here because it's such a friendly vibe going on. Yeah, so do you like Germany as well, or just... Oh yeah, no, every, everything about Germany, yeah. So the fans are amazing, Germany as a country is amazing. The venue, uh, I, actually something to go into detail, every sound guy we've had in Germany has been <laughs> amazing, top notch and all of that kind of stuff. So yeah, they've been really interesting, good. Interesting detail. I know, but you know, might as well say it, it's true. Good to know. <laughs> okay, so where were you, is your current single yes. and video? Could you explain the song to us? Am I going? Okay. Yes, you are. Basically, uh, the song is about kind of people that are on two parallel paths. They kind of they're perfect for each other, but they don't know it yet, and they're just kind of looking for each other, but like they don't know that they're looking for each other. If that kind of makes sense, yeah. but like eventually one day they will meet, and it's kind of like that's the same as the video is that uh, the girls in the video and us are kind of walking along almost just the a same lot of walking, paths, but in the different in different directions. So we never really meet until the end, which is kind of how that. I mean, I kind of spoiled it really. <laughs> now, if you, if you haven't watched the video already. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> Sorry? Yes, there is a happy end. Yes. yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so you've got an EP2, the coming yes. soon EP. Yeah, but it's not coming soon anymore because it's released. It's not, no, but it was coming soon for roughly seven months. So yeah. we thought it would be quite mm. ironic. Yeah, <laughs> it would be quite ironic to name it coming soon. And our fans got the joke because we always used to say on like live streams and videos that the EP is coming soon. And they would get quite annoyed because they're like, when is soon? And we're like, we don't know. And so <laughs> just soon. Yeah. yeah. It's been a long time. Yes. Okay. Okay, so I just want to ask who came up with the name and why, but now. <laughs> uh, we were what? just, yeah, we were just kind of talking about names with uh, our manager Cassie and someone threw it in the mix and we kind of just went that is probably the most ironic and funny name we could think of and we love sort of the fun things in life and make all of our titles for things really interesting um, so yeah we decided with that and thought it would be the best for everything yeah it's pretty funny when you came on Spotify and you're pretty, pretty confused so is every it everyone yeah. when they see the uh, poster is just like what's coming soon so we're like no that's the name they're like but what's coming soon we're like the EP, that's what it's called, and yeah, okay. there's a lot of confusion. So, what do the songs on the EP mean to you? Um, honestly, it's it's our first EP, which is just really special to us. Like we've never kind of released anything like that before, uh, and we're just really excited to create loads of new music as well, following that. So, like it's it's one of those things where it's like the first one of hopefully many. So it, it means a lot to us being the first, basically. Same. Yeah. Okay. Nice. So you started off on TikTok, right? Yes. What inspired you to first um, post there? Well, I mean, to be fair, we actually started on YouTube, but we wanted, we saw other people using the app and everyone was sort of lip syncing and stuff on that, but we didn't want to do that. We wanted to see how far we could take singing on the app because we really didn't see many people doing it. So as soon as, uh, when it was musically at the time, as soon as they started noticing us, they started featuring our videos and uh, we were really active on posting new songs and songs that were released singing. And we just kept building from there basically. And then we took, all of our fans from Musical.ly slash TikTok over to Instagram, YouTube, and all those kind of platforms. Great cross media. Yes, yeah. <laughs> nice, okay, what inspired you to for your own music? Or what inspires you for your own music in the future too? Honestly, we just like, ha we like to have fun. We, especially when we're making music, we always think about how the performance is going to be. Like every single time we make a song or kind of like uh, are recording in the studio, we're always thinking about what we're going to be doing on stage because that's one of our favorite things to do is perform. So uh, we're always thinking about like how we might do that bit on stage and like if, if that sound is slightly different so that it would sound better live, if that makes sense. So we're always thinking about that. Okay, nice. Who would you love to work with? Oh, I mean, a DJ like, uh, or DJs like the Chainsmokers or Marshmallow, they would be awesome to like remix a song uh, or do something like that. And maybe, I don't know, maybe a rapper. He could. Macklemore. Macklemore, maybe. That'd be cool. To go over the track, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, why not? 
Yeah. So this is your goal. Do you have any more goals? Like for 2019 and in the future? Uh, honestly, we would just love to do a lot, a uh, lot more recording. Um, release a load of new, load of. New <laughs> I'm gonna start that again. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so uh, our goals for 2019 are just to release loads more music for our fans because we've sort of been holding back for now. We're finishing school, uh, so we want to get all of that done, and we just want to go on tour more. Uh, we actually want to perform at loads of festivals because we love festivals. It's it's like getting to mix with different audiences that wouldn't normally normally listen to you so you can sort of show off your talent if they like you they'll join in and have a good time if not they'll just walk away which eh, we don't mind uh, <laughs> so festivals are really fun yeah we want to do that kind of thing cool so Tomorrowland is coming yes yes it is uh, and I don't think we have enough time to book that one but um, never hopefully hopefully other ones yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay nice so what are the best and worst parts about your trend <sighs> Best part is, I mean, it's it's sort of a joint thing. The best part is that we can, when we're on stage, we can sort of make small signals or use one word sentences and we'll instantly know what each other means. And then we can do that on stage and make sure everything goes right. Uh, worst the worst thing, thing is probably that we know how to annoy each other. Yeah. We're very good at annoying each other. And he's a selective listener, so he'll choose when he wants to listen to people. So uh, that's not really a twin thing. <laughs> you just about you just, no worst thing about the other twin. You, oh, about right, the okay, other okay, twin. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Cute. Do you like having a twin? Yeah, okay, should be. <laughs> well, I mean, so when people ask that kind of question, we, we kind of just go, well, we don't like or dislike it. It's just like who we are, because we don't know any different. Like, um, we I wouldn't know what it would be we like. We were never born without a twin, and we've never sort of been not around each other, so it, it's just normal to us. Okay, nice. Can you relate to other twins like Lisa and Lena, Marcus and Matthias and so on? Do you know what? We actually, when we first met Lisa and Lena, we had a conversation because we were so sort of not in a mean way but weirded out at how how much they wore the same clothes and we were like we would hate to wear the same clothes and they were like yeah we do too and we were like oh okay i think, I think the other thing is as well that they are so nice to each other and we, they, yeah. <laughs> we tend to argue a little bit uh, so we were just like how are you guys i think it might be i mean they did say that they argue they too. argue sometimes they, yeah, 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 yeah. Probably, but i feel like we may argue a little bit maybe it's a guy thing Maybe guy twins argue a bit more than girl Maybe. twins. I, I think girl twins get along a bit better. Yeah, I yeah, think. Yeah, girls are so brave. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Okay, so you just have an Instagram account for both of, both of you. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Do you have any single ones? Like, we okay. don't have any individual Instagram accounts at the moment. Maybe mainly, one day. Mainly because we're both in school. We don't really have time to run three different accounts, obviously two each. Um, and uh, we do have individual Snapchats, though. So we have a joint Snapchat and two individual ones of those. So we kind of keep everyone up to date on what we're doing in the day and stuff like that. OK, nice. So do you still use Snapchat? Yes. Yeah. OK, because Just in Germany, it's like, I don't know. Has it gone down a bit in yeah. Germany? I mean, it's, it's kind of gone down a bit everywhere, but I feel like it's back on the rise because it, they've sort of changed I their... I use Snapchat to text my friends. That's yeah. Because I, I actually text my friends on Snapchat more than I do on um, messages. messages. Yeah, same. Do you use WhatsApp, iMessage? I use WhatsApp sometimes, but like, I I'm a bit rubbish for WhatsApp. Snapchat. Okay, nice. Yeah. Okay, now I've got another question for the end of the year. How do you celebrate Christmas? How do we? Well, oh. here's a fun story. Oh. So, um, our little brother, he is 12 years old, and he uh, he actually goes to um, a school called St George's School, which is actually the Queen of England's school. Uh, and so he actually sings in the Queen's Church as a chorister. So he sung at um, Harry and Meghan's royal wedding. He was one of the. Uh, did you watch it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's, not, it's, it's more than okay. Yes, for political I'm reasons. Not going no, to be for. If nah. you didn't. But nah. he was one of the choristers uh, in the um, Royal Choir. <laughs> uh, so we get to spend Christmas every year at the school. Church. Yay. The school. Church is all right. Christmas it's at not, church. But then, but then we have, then we have um, some school dinners. Uh, for, for Christmas for Christmas dinner, which is great. It's, uh, we it's love fun. it. Yeah. It's so great. We love it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, well, I wish one, one day with the royal left. family. One year left of it. <laughs> but I mean, it's really cool to so be fair. 16? 16. 16. Uh, but it's really cool that he does it, but um, yeah, Christmas, <laughs> Christmas, Christmas is, is interesting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice, okay, so nice to meet you. Nice to meet you.